he's taking off with that car. That car is completely sandwiched, guys. Wow. It doesn't even look like a car. Yeah, it didn't look like a car at all. It looked like scrap metal. Yeah, it's just another day out here on the interstate. What's going on guys so glad to be back out on the road off of home time i did have to take a break when i came out here i picked up a load in uh it was uh jacksonville florida took it over to texas dropped it off this morning so now with this load here i'm picking up in fort worth and bringing this to new york so it's going to be an interesting ride i'm glad to be back off home time like i said i think it's overrated you know, after you do so much stuff at home time, you're ready to just hit back on the road. At least I am. So yeah, I'm ready to make some money. Let's go ahead and get this strapped up and get on out of here. Start heading over to New York. So this is what I got, guys. One piece of uh, galvanized steel. It's beam. And uh, yeah, I don't know the weight of it. So I'm just going to do standard two in the front, two in the back over there. One strap every other five feet. All right, guys. So... Here's the load right here, all secured up. Sorry about the noise if it's a little loud out here. But yeah, I got the two straps in the front. I went down every five feet. Now the load only, the load is only, um, what do you call it? 20, 20 some odd thousand pounds. So, you know, I'm only gonna need really five straps, but DOT and belt require, well, DOT requires a strap every 10 feet. Belt wants us to do a strap every five feet. So regardless of the weight, of each strap holding uh, 4,000 pounds, I'm still gonna roll with a strap every five feet, okay? So yeah, there we go, that's, I mean, it's a pretty simple load. I couldn't ask for anything better. The load I had before it is, it was a bunch of that uh, foam roofing material, you know, and that stuff just sucks because you can't tighten the straps down real tight and, you know, it was under a tarp, so I had no way of telling whether my straps were tight enough or whether they loosened up or whatnot you know what i mean so i mean look at this weather out here guys i've been dealing with storms thunderstorms and extreme heat ever since i came off of home time uh yesterday it was 115 degrees in texas we just got out of texas thank god i'm in arkansas for i-30 at their uh welcome center so i did about 200 miles i got about a little uh I got just under 1,500 miles to go to get to the final with this. It's dropping on Monday, so I got plenty of time, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night, and I will see y'all in the morning. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Uh, the goal today is I'm gonna go ahead and try to swing down, it's about 40 miles down the road to a Loves, grab a quick shower. Also, doing my pre-trip this morning, I noticed that I have a uh, cut on my sidewall on my trailer uh, trailer tire so I'm probably gonna try to get that fixed and I do need to do uh, about 500 miles today if I can do 450 that'd be awesome too so yeah I got a busy day guys we're gonna go ahead and hit the road So that was nice. I haven't even started my day yet, guys. It's 11.45. I 
I got to stop at this breakfast place. It's like a, one of those old school little trucker cafe kind of breakfast joints. It's called Norman 44s off of I-30 in uh, Arkansas. If you ever get a chance, definitely check out that place. They got amazing breakfast and it's dirt cheap. Uh, after that, I just ran across the street, uh, hit this TA up, which is also, you know, it's right across the street from the uh, breakfast joint. Great showers, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm showered up. I got some breakfast. Uh, the tire situation, after looking at it a little bit more, uh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I mean, it's just a little crack. I'm going to keep an eye on it, you know, because I am on a tight deadline. Maybe after I drop this load, I'll go take it in. Um, if it needs to be taken in sooner, obviously I will take it in sooner. So with that said, it's uh, time to down some miles. It's a good day when you wake up and you can get one of these. I don't stay here at the Love's truck stops or any of the major chain truck stops overnight, uh, usually. But Brandy likes it when I stay here, guys. Cause she gets to, you know, go in there, use the bathroom, frolic around. She actually got some laundry done last night, so the heat out here is something serious. Y'all make sure you're drinking some water. Anyways, I got uh it's a thousand miles left on the trip. We got today and tomorrow to get there. Drop off first thing Monday morning. Today's Saturday, guys. Uh, I've touched a little bit on my home time. You know, home time to me is overrated. I mean, it's nice to see my loved ones. You know, it was good to see my aunt. I haven't seen my brother for five years. I got to see him. So, I mean, it was cool, but you know, the road just calls to me. I can't say I miss the truck stops or anything like that, but I do miss the road. So, yeah, I'm eager to get this load off, start getting some regular paychecks coming in and making some more videos for you guys. Uh, if this video seems like it's a little bland or whatnot, give me some time. I'm just trying to get back in the mix of things, guys. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drink this, do my free trip, and uh, we're going to hit the road down some miles today. So it's been pretty fun today, guys. Uh, we got a lot of action. We got Brandy over here. She's cooking some uh, hamburger helper for tonight. And then out here, we got people partying. See all that traffic right where that truck's at over there? Yeah, so it's at a complete standstill. See that trucker over there? He's like just sitting there. He can't even get out of this rest area. Ev evidently two big trucks and a uh, four-wheeler ended up crashing and colliding and going into a ditch or something. And uh, yeah, that just happened. It just so happens that I was pulling over for my load check, tire check, uh, right before that happened. I don't know if that's good news or bad news. I mean, I could have probably driven past it, but now I'm kind of stuck here in this rest area, waiting for it to clear up. But, you know, guys, I'd rather be sitting over here in this rest area than sitting out there in that heat, you know, waiting for a car to move and having to sit up front in my seat, so. At least we're getting productive here today. On another note, my uh, cooler, my freezer, ended up taking a dump on me. Yeah, that cost me about $750. So now we, uh, I'm back down to the fridge that I got that came with the truck. So yeah, I took it apart, tried to dust it out and all that stuff. Excuse me. Cleaned the fan and all that. And it, it's still not working so far. So we'll have to see what goes on with that. But yeah, that's where we're at today. I still got 330 miles to do to uh, get down today before I can shut down. So hopefully I can get out of here in a timely manner. 
So I sat at this rest area for three and a half hours, guys. We're stopping in up here right by the wreck. And uh, traffic literally didn't budge. There was people walking from their cars on the interstate over to the rest area. That's how bad it was. And I guess the accident is straight up here. Yeah, he's taking off with that car. That car is completely sandwiched, guys. Wow. It doesn't even look like a car. Yeah, it didn't look like a car at all. It looked like scrap metal. Yeah, it's just another day out here on the interstate. Just another day. Look at this. This must have just happened when I uh, pulled in initially at that rest area for my uh, load check tire check. And you guys saw when I came out of the rest area, here it is. So, kind of wish I would have picked a different rest area to do my load check. So I just picked this up, this little Coolatron from Love's. I don't know how it's gonna work out, guys, but I'm really pissed off. My uh, other Coolatron, the one that cost me $750, decided to take a crap on me. So I just stuck it out next to the trash can over here at the Love's. I let some drivers know that, you know, if they can fix it, it's theirs, you know? I, I ran it all night, it's not getting below 69 degrees. So, I mean, that's just ridiculous. And I even took it apart, cleaned the fan blades and all that other crap. So I'm not too happy about that. I know I don't expect this little Coolatron to actually freeze anything, but it'll at least hopefully clear up room in my fridge so I can store some more stuff in there until I, you know, get a get a better freezer. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy another freezer from the truck stops. It's just ridiculous. They mark up the prices so high on it. I'm just gonna wait till I do home time next time and uh, order one from Amazon, I suppose. So yeah, that's that. Also my Garmin, you know, she's decided to, uh, you know, be fussy. So I'm trying to update her on a Jetpack. You know, it's gigabytes of data that needs to be downloaded here. So she's taking forever. I think I got uh, about 400, 400 miles to the final and it's 1.30 right now. So I should make it with an on-time delivery. Hopefully yesterday didn't uh, tie me up too much. Uh, thing about yesterday, that kid, he was 19 years old. He ended up, the, the driver of that four-wheeler, he ended up dying. So, you know, I mean, that just goes to show you, it's it's real sad, you know, I uh, feel for his family and stuff like that. But, you know, trucking's, trucking's a dangerous job and these interstates are real out here. You know, it doesn't matter how good you guys drive. People are stupid out here. So just think about that when you start trying to get, when you get comfortable driving your truck, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and fuel up here and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the road. I finally made it. I'm nine and a half miles away from the final, which I think is just amazing because this trip, I mean, there's so much stuff that happened on this trip. I actually, just doing a pre-trip right now, I found a nail going through my uh, sidewall, through my tread, through in, through my sidewall. Um, so I gotta get that tire fixed tomorrow. I also got that original gash on my sidewall on the other tire on my trailer. I need to get fixed tomorrow after I drop this. But yeah, I'm nine and a half miles away. I get my clock back at 7.30. The drop appointment is at 0800. So, you know, I, with, with three major slowdowns on this trip, 
I was still able to miraculously, I don't know how, uh, make it to my appointment on time. I mean, I had a, I had a major traffic incident going into Kentucky. I had another one coming out of Kentucky with that fatality, and then I had another one today in uh, Ripley, New York, uh, that set me back about another hour. So you're talking uh, probably about six hours, seven hours of time that I lost uh, to make it here. And I just think that's amazing. So yeah, it's been a long day. I'm whooped. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit the sack and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, so we made it here to our drop this morning. I'm next in line to get unloaded. It's been a great trip. Well, it's been a hectic trip, but we made it here. And we're gonna be, uh, like I said, I'm gonna be heading over to the maintenance shop, get my tires repaired. That's priority number one. So if you're interested in seeing that, all of that, stay tuned for the next video. But on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.